you very much. Thank you very much. This is Father's Day. took off today and for five weeks he's going to be walking the Camino with his high school group in Europe 15 miles a day seven days a week for five weeks he's walking 500 miles I, I could not have asked for a more <laughs> for a more maturing experience <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway but I will be uh, I will be without my child for the first time in 17 years uh, so I'm cool with them. Okay. <laughs> I'll find something to do. Uh, my father is 86. And I talked to him today. And uh, last time I visited him, I had to fold the ladder while he climbed up on the roof <laughs> to get leaves off the roof because he's not going to let me do it. <laughs> so uh, at least I know I got some good genes.
questions you got? I don't have anything to say. We're just going to start playing.
Can I use this one? Yeah, since it's wireless. Uh, thank you for coming out. This is a lovely band. I'm going to introduce everyone before we get to the next song. Uh, please give it up for David Barry over there on piano. That's June Ida on trumpet over there. June came all the way from Seattle to do this show, so I'm really grateful for him to be here. Uh, yeah. My main man, Sam Arnold on bass over here. And uh, that's Rob Arugia over there. He's going to be playing on the second set. So give it up for him. You don't even know what you've heard yet. Uh, that song was one of mine. It's called 21cc. It's off of, I guess not my most recent album, but two albums back. An album called Gradient, which came out in 2022. Uh, or I guess at the beginning, or like at the middle of the year. And we're going to do mostly not my songs, because I have another album coming out. On the 13th of March. I'm just going to use this one. <laughs> yeah, it died. Uh, yeah, I have another album coming out on the 13th of March, so I'm not going to play a ton of my songs for this set just because people will get bored of them after a while. So we're going to do uh, just a lot of music from people, composers that I really like and uh, people that I want to play their music. So we're going to play one of David's compositions, our pianist, next, a song called The Captain's Dance. So hopefully you enjoy it.
There's going to be two moments in this uh, set, well, one moment in this set and one moment in the next set where both pianists are going to be on stage. And this is one of those moments for this set. Uh, we're going to have Rob come up and join us on, I'm not sure if he's playing Rhodes or piano, but please, yeah, give it up for Rob. <laughs> A fun fact, uh, Rob is my housemate and he's moving out in a day or two to, you know, for, for not for bad reasons, just to be with someone he cares very much about. Uh, and David is taking his place. So, you know, it's fun to have like a little musical chairs in real life <laughs> along with the musical chairs in the musical world. Uh, so we're gonna do a song called Kind of Like a Bluish Gray, which is a composition by uh, a friend of a friend named Jonathan Ziegler, who I've never met, lives in Florida, I believe. At least he did when he wrote this song. And uh, I think it's a beautiful piece, and it sounds really good with two keyboard instruments. So we're just going to do that. We're going to think of this as like a sound bath. It's just like a really relaxing sounding song. Thank 
Give it up once again for Rob Arujo on the keys. He'll be back for the 8 p.m. set. And the amazing June Ida on trumpet, all the way from Seattle. The illustrious David Barry on piano. And the loquacious Sam Arnold on bass. Oh. <laughs> Pulling out my SAT words. All right. You never gotten loquacious before? Loquacious Sam. <laughs> we're going to do uh, something that's a far cry from what we were just doing. Uh, if any of you are video game aficionados or have children or friends or families that are video game, uh, game aficionados, we're going to be playing 
uh, the title theme from Wii Sports. There's no, no, there's no backstory for that. I just think it sounds cool. Bye. 
theme is way too inspirational for its own good. I'm going to segue to a different, so we're <laughs> going to go a completely different direction in a sense. I'm going to play a song, some, a lot of these songs are either songs that I like that are out there or songs that I like that are written by people that are friends of mine. So in this case we're going to play a song by my friend Ben Tweet, who's a fantastic pianist, lives in the Cincinnati area right now. Uh, he every once in a while writes something that he thinks would sound good for my trio to play, or like my quartet. And he wrote this song called Back to School, which has really been taking us to school because it's really hard. Uh, so bear in mind that uh, I didn't write this, even though I do write hard music. And uh, I would take full responsibility for any mistakes made. They're all my fault. Anyways, here's Back to School.
Don't break it the fourth wall, but that song is freaking hard. Oh my gosh. He wrote a crazy song. That was, uh, once again, Back to School by Ben Tweet. We're going to do uh, another song, of, speaking of school, a song that I wrote in college. Uh, the, this song's called Courage. It's actually going to be on my next album, but I changed it a bunch, like completely. So this version is kind of a bridge between the original and the new version. So hopefully you enjoy it. This is Courage. Thank you. 
we have time for, I think, one more song. So we're going to do uh, a song called Copycat <coughs> by Michael Raganese, who uh, is a great pianist, composer, who's living in L.A. right now, a uh, friend of June's. Yeah, all-around good guy. Uh, we'll end with that one. Please give it up for the band. Give it up for Sam Arnold there on bass. David Barry on the piano over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rob Arujo back there on the positive affirmation. Oh. You'll, if you come to the second set at 8 p.m., you'll get to hear some of him or more of him. Uh, and then let's give it up for June Ida oh. on the trumpet. June came all the way from Seattle to play the show. We're eternally grateful and extremely happy that he's here. And uh, it sounds amazing. Uh, thank you for coming. And if you like what you hear, uh, there's not only a little silver bucket over there named Philip who accepts uh, tips, but there is a QR code on your table that you can scan and give money to the 1905 and to us. Uh, if you are watching on stream, because this is being streamed as well, I believe you can do that as well. If door streaming is put info for that. So uh, thank you to everybody who's here. We're going to end with Copycat. And uh, if you'd like to stick around for the next set, feel free. They're going to reset the room, but you're definitely welcome to pop back in. Oh, it's sold out. OK, you're definitely welcome to watch the live stream from home. <laughs> Ooh. Well, uh, OK. So yeah, there's a, the next set will be fun, though. It'll be more, it'll be different, a little different than this. But this has been a lot of fun so far.
Thanks, everyone. David Barry on piano. Sam Arnold on bass. June Ida on trumpet. Special guest Robert Arujo. And I'm Machado Majiga. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for coming. If you are interested in more music, uh, I have an album that's coming out on March 13th, which happens to be my birthday, and it'll be playing a release show here. Uh, it'll be featuring uh, an entirely different band, actually, with the exception of David, and then um, I'll be bringing somebody else from Seattle, actually, a uh, guitarist by the name of Lucas Winter, who's fantastic. He's going to play some of my music. So if you're interested, uh, come check out me, Lucas Winter, uh, David Berry, and Andrew Jones on March 13th here. I'm also playing PDX Jazz Festival tomorrow at Jupiter Hotel, if you want to hear some other music of mine that's not this new music for this album, but not what we just played. Thank you. <laughs>